Cardaya here. Y'all, I wanted to come and give y'all an update on our indoor garden. I know that I haven't shown y'all these scallions yet, but I have literally had these inside of the soil. And I don't have anything inside of here. It's just sitting. But I made some compost inside of my house. Um, inside of a, a container that I brought these frozen desserts inside of. So it airlocks or however you say it um and it fed my soil these have been growing for i think about five days if that long and look how it is now that one is already like almost three inches long and then this one is growing and there's another piece that's coming out of here it's kind of hard to see so but i'm so excited about that my aloe plant gnats have been eating on her, but she's still standing tall. And then I have a red onion in here. It's hard to see. Let's see. I have this red onion, and as, as y'all can see, you see the little green plant right there? That's something else growing out of there. I don't know what that is. But um, yes, this red onion is also starting to. Oh man, I wish I could get a better view. It's already starting to grow. Whenever I put this in, let's see if I could turn it on. Okay, yeah. Whenever I put it in, this part right here was not there. This tall part. There it is. That's better. The only thing that was there was this part right here. This part is the part that's growing out, the new onion part there that tip top part that burgundy in <clears throat> is the part that just started growing out and y'all this was um like real dry whenever i put it in here and all i did was take the bottom part of the onion that had the roots on it and the roots weren't even real long and like i said it was dried out i had it sitting up under the counter and i just put it in some dirt and wet it up a lot and if i were you i would put it inside of something that has holes in the bottom but this works pretty decently because I keep it in the sun and then this is um, our pepper plant and as you can see the flowers are growing there was another flower on here I knocked the flower off I wanted y'all to see that but it's some more of them it's one right here and then it's two growing on this side and then uh i don't know if this was damaged whenever i got it it only had one pepper left on it so somebody hadn't already picked the other ones off i don't know if it's done producing i don't really know how it goes um that's something that i'm still looking into but it had a beautiful little white flower on it but i'm gonna give y'all an update on that later basil i had to snatch all of the big leaves off of here like these because they were turning brown and they're real soft see how it just fell off but the little ones are starting to grow back it's been like three days since i took the big leaves off and the little ones are already coming back it's a lot of little ones and then some more growing at the bottom i love this one it produces real fast now rosemary ann i think i might have killed her i don't know because she's shriveling up and she she was doing better whenever i had her in the water so if y'all want to regrow rosemary from cuttings, I would suggest that you leave it inside of the water, change the water every day, and um, wait for the roots to grow in and put it in some healthy soil. This is mostly compost right here, but I I had it wet and it rained for like two or three days and it basically took her out. Like she started getting mildew on the leaves and it was still smelling real good and everything but now she's starting to dry up so I think I'm gonna have to start that project all over again but I'm praying about it that it works out however this is my million bill and <clears throat> y'all know from whenever I first posted about her that she had a bunch of flowers on her but most of them were closed like this one this one and this one, this one, it's a lot of flowers on here, but they close up and they open up um, off and on. But it's beautiful, y'all. Look at these purple flowers. 
And this is a Calabrachia. Mm. I think that's the way you say it. Either is Calabrachoa. I don't know how to say it. But it's a million bell. If you go and look it up, they are real good flowers. They can last in a drought. You see how brown it is in the middle. That's the way it was whenever I got it from Walmart. And I just bought it home and started watering it. And it grew all of these little closed flowers. And they open up periodically. But yeah, I wanted to give y'all an update because I did plant this red onion here. And we're going to have a surprise right there. I don't know what that is. But I can see that the roots have grown. And it's coming up out of the dirt. So I think I need to cover that up. Probably. Anybody who might have some advice for me. Please put it up under this video. Because I need it. And let me know how to keep these doggone gnats from eating my little flowers. Being that it is in the windowsill. Whenever they come in. <clears throat> they just get over here and have a party. And they just eat out. And they're not eating all of it. And it's only like a net or two. They come in whenever I put them, put the plants outside. But yeah. All right, family. I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all later. Shalom. Shalom.